Good evening. This is Nightly News with Dick Gate. I'm Dick Gate, and this is your Nightly News. Tonight, our report. Video games. We're all familiar with them. Some of us may even remember the first time we handled a joystick. But tonight we're going to ask the tough questions. Are they really just simple electronic toys? Or... Mass murder simulators. We warn our audience that some of the images shown tonight will be very graphic in nature. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but we did it to prove a point. Video games are eroding the social structure of America, and only by banding together against this foreign invader can we protect the sanctity of family values. Some of you may be saying, Hey Dick, you studly good-looking hunk of a man. I've been playing these so-called mass murder simulators all my life, and I turned out fine. Well, my eager, yet completely ignorant compadre, tonight we're going to show you the shocking truth about this homeland menace. We're talking with disbarred lawyer and video game activist Raymond Goolsby to hear his expert opinion on the matter. Thank you for joining us, Goolsby. Now you claim that video games are responsible for every incident of youth violence ever, correct? That's exactly right, Dick. Even though there are some who like us to believe that we shouldn't blame video games, but instead should focus on other factors such as bullying in school or a poor home environment, those people are clearly working for the video game companies and are trying to mislead the public. I see. Very interesting. I suppose you have scientific evidence to prove your theories? But of course, there have been over 300 studies of media violence on youth. And even though most of them have been inconclusive and have been criticized on methodological grounds, the results are enough to show that video games are training our children to become tiny serial killers. When a child shoots people in a video game, they're actually learning how to shoot people in real life. So you're saying that the act of pressing buttons on a controller will teach children how to use and operate a gun in real life? Doesn't that seem a little far-fetched? I'd like to present a diagram I prepared for this interview. Here, you can see, is a diagram of a normal, well-adjusted child. But observe what happens when I put a video game controller in his hand. Notice the smoking gun that instantly appears in his other hand, his use of profanity, and the pile of dead bodies that he has just shot down. My diagram clearly shows that the use of video games leads to youth violence every time, all the time. I see. You must be correct because of your expert uses of diagrams. It was silly for me to have ever doubted you. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. To demonstrate Goolsby's theory, we enlisted the help of such a youth who reportedly spends four hours a day playing his favorite video game, Pro Scooter Racing. What do you want me to do on this thing? You heard me. Show us what you learned from those video games. But I don't even know how to ride this thing. Our sources show that you got 100,000 points on pro scooter racing. That's enough qualifications for us. Now stop being a big baby and go! How do I drop this thing? Oh, my leg. Oh, I think it's broken. <coughs> oh, God. To end our report, we'd like to present a glimpse into the future that we are trying to prevent. Imagine, if you will, a group of students meeting under the shadows of nightfall. Visualize them as they sit together in a room, huddled in front of their computer screens, doing nothing but playing video games all night. Truly a horrifying thought, correct? Now what if I told you that this was happening right now in our country? Our camera crew was able to infiltrate an inner circle of such hoodlums and take this footage. Is this the America our forefathers dreamt of? Only if we take up arms today will we be able to prevent this from happening. I'm Dick Gate, and that was your nightly news.